I got the camera out. I stay awake like a motherfucking owl. Ooh, ooh. Stay awake like an owl. Ooh, ooh. Hey, um, that's just uh, paint. I dipped my hand in paint. Made a blood splat for one of my projects. So, what we learn in the military is. And this is for people that don't know, so I don't need any feedback on the things that you know. It's all good. It's just good information, and it does apply to tattooing. Uh, parts of the movement already know on a couple of posts, but uh, I thought this would be good information for outside the movement, realms, and walls. Um, when your heart rate exceeds 145 BPM, beats per minute, your body is naturally designed by whoever God is or a creator to uh, act as a true soldier. And, and how that is is that at 145 beats per minute, your auditory sense, the senses, bear with me guys, I'm fucking tired as hell. Um, I know you guys say, it's been a long time, talk is cheap, where's your stuff? It takes a lot. I'm not planning to kick out freaking one machine here and one machine here there and wait for a fucking another order like Workhorse Irons, bro. Um, they talked a lot of crap about CNC machines, but yet <laughs> I just saw a video of them actually CNC and casting machines. So whatever, man. Um, I'm, I'm not doing it that way. I expect to launch big. I'm not going to change anything. If I, you know, start small, yeah, a lot of people want me to start small, and I will. Um, pretty soon, I've got dibs on a local uh, shop that I'm going to be pretty much owning that bad boy. Uh, me and another guy, it's actually my uh, sister's husband, my fiance. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start kicking out some machines and some coils that way. But the real big shit, like the inventions and all the patents and... Uh, and all the product line, the real good stuff that's really gonna change and reinvent this thing. Um, I've gotta wait for capital on that still. We're going through a lot of a lot of things on that. It's a lot of hurry up and wait, and as you know, a lot of stuff has happened within this last six months. Um, still deal with it every day. So anyways, the, the uh, purpose and motive and moral behind the story of this video is <sighs> tattooing requires more than just skill, um, technique, proper equipment and quality tools. Um, it also requires the knowledge of the human body and how it works. And knowledge of the largest organ on the human body which is the skin. But the skin acts in accordance just like everything else with our body, with our mind. It first starts with either a physical feeling or an emotional feeling. Um, your emotions can re have a reaction on the way that your body reacts, as well as a physical sensory through your uh, complex, your complex regions and, and, and all your, your nervous system. So the point is, is when you're tattooing, let's say, let's say, you know, a girl comes into the shop or where you're at, uh, at home or she knows you and she wants a tattoo and she's never had one before and she's really nervous. She doesn't like needles. She's afraid of needles anyways. 
Um, your job as, as an artist, in my mind, and how I would do it, was to reassure that person that, you know what, it's going to be okay. The depth is set and it can't go any deeper. It's not going to hit any veins. It's not going to hit any arteries. You're not going to bleed out. It's not going into a vein. Everything is clean and sanitary. Everything's coming out of the package. Um, the ink isn't reused. It's good quality materials and products. And these are professional equipment, not that Chinese bullshit. Um, and to reassure that person that, you know what, just relax. It's going to be okay because when, when the needle hits, let me not sidetrack. Let me go back in my thoughts. At 145 beats per minute, things start to happen in your body. God, whoever that may be, has created us to be true soldiers. And I know what I mean by that is when your heart rate gets to that level, it goes into defense mode. All your capillaries and small vessels will constrict throughout your whole body. What that does is a couple of things. First, it offers the human body to take blows and cuts and not bleed as much as it normally would relax. It also constricts the blood from these main areas that aren't really needed as much as your brain and your heart. So what it does is it pushes the blood by constricting those vessels and blood and, uh, and our uh, capillaries towards the heart and the brain so that both in conjunction can work together faster to make more clear and more precise uh, decision making. Not only that, in law enforcement and military we know that in stressful situations and life and death situations, the auditory is minimized, the vocal cords are constricted, the vision is minimized and constricted. That's why it's tunnel vision. When you hear tunnel vision in training, don't get tunnel vision because you need to pay attention to your surroundings and everything in your surroundings because if you don't do that, you're not aware of your surroundings and the threat may be present as well as directly wherever you're zoning into. So tunnel vision is a problem in law enforcement and we uh, or you learn how to cope with that and uh, you're trained to deal with that on a daily. So how does this all correlate with tattooing in the process? Well, what it does is If you are totally relaxed and you can control these, this thinking or these emotions that cause uh, these things to happen, you'd be able to have a better sitting with, with the, the, the client would have a better sitting and ultimately a better tattoo. And this is where tattoo artists need to really figure out and pay attention. I haven't seen anything on YouTube indicating this, what I'm talking about. And this is very important in my mind, and, and I've thought about this a lot. Um, now, if the client is really just agitated and hates pain, the first time that that needle goes in, they're already anxious. Their, their brain's going, they're, they're not feeling good, they don't like the pain. You're working with the, the threshold here. And once that threshold is, is gone, that pain tolerance is gone, that window your tattoo is done. It's session number two because swelling is going to start. And why does this happen? Well, there's a couple of reasons it will happen. First of all, the initial trauma of the needle and the technique of the, the artist itself. But also, with that said, it can happen and does happen with your client or the person getting the tattoo as well. If they're very uncomfortable, the brain is already telling the skin, which is an organ, that something's going wrong and they don't like it. It doesn't like it. So it's pushing out the foreign object. It's pain, it doesn't like it. It's gonna do whatever it can do to stop that from happening. So it's gonna go on a natural defense mechanism, which is, in this case, rejecting foreign object, which is the pigment as well as the, uh, the needle. So how does that happen? Instant swelling. Swelling and will push things out. This is why when you get a splinter, it swells up, gets infected. That's to push out the, the bullshit, okay? It's to push out that foreign object. Um, same with any other foreign object introduced to the human body, even within your own, an ingrown hair. Starts swelling up, looks like a pimple. Well, that's swelling because it's going to get to the point where it's going to pop 
and the, the hair will then um, come out and not be come infected where it's not supposed to be. That's a foreign object. It's supposed to be outside the skin, not under. Um, so the mind and the body work and correlate in conjunction with each other on awesome, awesome artistic levels. God is the best artist in the world, whatever, whoever God is. Uh, this isn't a uh, religious speech. This is just whatever created us is amazing. And, um, and not only amazing, it's just, it's, it's a, he's a beautiful, or it, or whatever, is it, it, a beautiful fucking artist, okay? Um, so let me get to my point really quick. The more comfortable that your client can be, the, the better off you're going to be during the whole process. The less uh, back team you're going to use, the, the less uh, trauma is going to be caused to the skin, because the more uncomfortable that person is in the mind, the body's going to be just as much or not more uncomfortable pushing out and swelling up that ink and uh, pushing out that needle, making your job hell and the tattoo worse. Um, so it's good to, to build rapport. And pro artists out there, you think you know everything. Congratulations. You went to an eight hour cross contamination path pathogen course. So fucking what, bro? You learned two hours of books. You had a little fucking multiple choice. And then bullshitted with coffee and the chick next door in seat number 3A for the rest of the remainder until uh, Proctor said go home. Who gives a fuck? It's real simple. Germs are everywhere. Practice safe situations. Here it is. This, how hard is this? You, you think it's a fucking... You, here's the problem with most pro, pro artists that I know. First of all, never graduated high school. Second of all, the education is just... Okay? So how do you counterbalance fucking the guilt, the, 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 the incompetence? How do you counterbalance the... Um, what am I looking for, ladies? What am I looking for? Um... A, a way to boost your or stroke your ego would be to be like, well, oh, we're surgeons. No, you're fucking not surgeons. You're not doctors. You're not surgeons. I know doctors and surgeons. You're not one of them. Okay, that shit takes twenty fucking years, fifteen to twenty years, to be a surgeon. Okay, don't don't come in here and say that you're conducting a surgery. Acupuncture, bro. I'm about to show you a little bit deeper than acupuncture. Now, moral of the story. Let's pause and break this part, and I'll be. Now what I want to do is I want to show you that your mind can control your body and its actions. Safety pin, needle, in my arm or skin anywhere with my capillaries and my vessels, they're everywhere, okay? It should bleed, but not if I can control it, and you can. You can control your heart rate. You can control... This mind can control your whole entire body. It can control more than that. I see the uh, previews for the movie Lucy. I'm going to go fucking see it. Because guess what? There's truth behind all this stuff. Imagine if we did utilize 100% of our brain capacity. We would be changing matter as we know it. The 3D holographic world around us would change. Uh, most of the sheep out there with the veils, which you are, I hope you're not. If you're not, you're probably part of the movement. But if you are, you're just off the deep end hating on me, not understanding shit. Um, and you're a sheep. So, the deal is, is this world that we think is, it's just a dimension. It's just uh, what we call physical reality, but it's really not real. You take the brain and you put it in a fucking glass jar without the body without the sensory reception unit, because these are senses. Eyes, vision, the, the vision, the hearing, the, uh, the smell, the touch, the taste, all these things are all waves. Light waves, sound waves, anvils hitting inside the drum and vocal cords smashing against each other to produce pitches, which is a wave to the eardrum translated into speech and translated into touch and feeling and emotion and thought. It can go on and on and on and on and on. With the brain, without those sensory units, to receive that information translated into 3D reality, the brain would sit in a jar, not knowing what to do, and be surrounded by a bunch of waves. Now, don't come at me, and I'm not talking to you little 
chump change motherfuckers out there, you big guys wearing the suits with the black suits and ties. Don't come at me. You already know me. You already know what's up. Let me just, all right, with you guys. Um, so you have that brain, and, and, and it doesn't know, and we're living in a, a wave format world. It's just the dimension of waves that's translated by a beautiful piece of work, art, an artistic form of flesh um, in this fake 3D world that we live, created by a great, great teacher, a great mentor, a great uh, artist somewhere above us or below us, wherever it may be. Control it. <clears throat> okay? So... I'll just pick any spot, I don't know. It's... And don't say nothing about my hands. That's from paint from a project. There's nothing here. Don't, don't fucking tell me to wear gloves and all this and that. Oh my God, hate on me. Look, I ain't gonna catch anything. You understand me? This shit is not gonna give me nothing. Alright? I don't need to wear gloves for this. This is my body. Let me do what the fuck I wanna do. Alright? the hell out of me. Control it. Grab me a piece of skin. I'm gonna control it. I'm gonna control it. Control my fucking, my, my mind. Okay? Let's control the mind. Let me get a good grip on this. kind of hard to push through. Go ahead, control your mind. Control your mind. Doesn't hurt. It's not going to bleed. I don't feel it. Push through. Push through. Push through. Control it. Control it. It's nothing. It's fake. It's fake. It's not even real. You just control it. You see the needle? Okay, so I'm stretched through, all right? I'm stretched all the way through. There we go. Laced. Laced. All right? Now, there's no blood at all, all right? It's a good chunk of skin, all right? Uh, I controlled my mind. I went deep. I went through a good, good layer of skin. I mean, it's there. It ain't going nowhere, you know what I mean? But, let me tell you something. You control it. There's nothing there. There's no blood. No nothing. Okay? Here's my point. If you have the capacity here, and use just a little bit more information here to out here, you can control a lot of things. Now, I think all tattoo artists should know these things and how to control certain things. When you speak to your client, calm and soothe them. I didn't see this on YouTube. I talked to the movement about this not too long ago. It was something that I would like to express and uh, kind of indicate and show. And it is what it is, okay? Love me or hate me is still an obsession. If you love me, then fuck you. If you hate me, then fuck you. I love all you.